All right, everybody, it's time for another book review, but this one's a little bit different from the type of books I'd normally do. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. So the book I'm talking about is Flies for Bass and Panfish by Dick Stewart and Farrow Allen. This thing was published in 1992. It's not a real thick book. It's only 80 pages, but it does have 270 flies in it. Now, it is not a how-to book. It's definitely just a pattern encyclopedia. So let me walk through some of the sections for you. It's not necessarily broken down into chapters, but the table of contents lists all the type of bugs it has in here, or the flies. It's got floating bugs, mice, frogs, crayfish, leeches and snakes, bait fish, nymphs, panfish poppers. So it's got lots of the flies that warm water bass and panfish fly fishermen use. So here's some of the floating bugs, and it's really laid out with about three flies per page with uh, the recipe and then maybe just a little bit of, of history on the pattern. And there's tons of pages in the floating bug section, probably I'd say 10 pages, so maybe 60 flies of just the, the floating bugs. And then, let's see, you've got two pages of mice. Most of these are, are hair bug type mice. And he's got six pages of just frogs, all kinds of crazy frogs in here. You've got a uh, Whitlock's frog, uh, the Sang frog, Stewart's hair spoon frog. So some really pretty cool looking frog patterns. Then after the frogs, we go into crayfish. I think he's got, uh, I don't know, uh, two pages. It looks like eight different crayfish patterns in here. Go into the leeches and snakes, eels. So some really nifty patterns that you don't see in, in most common fly tying books. After that, he goes into some divers. You've got a bullet bug, the Dahlberg diver. We've all heard of that guy. And then he goes into some bait fish. So what uh, a lot of these bait fish patterns are, they're going to be very familiar to trout fishermen because they're really, a lot of them are just streamers. You have the black nosed dace, you have the, the black ghost, you've got the clouser minnows and some really neat looking patterns in here. Take a look at this top right Derby Sunfish. That one looks pretty challenging, but it would be a fun fly to tie. Then after the bait fish, he goes into insects. A lot of these we're familiar with, the Adams, Dave's Hopper, Foam Beetles. So you've got a lot of flies in here that are also trout flies. And then he wraps it up in the end with some nymphs and then panfish poppers. So who is this book for? Well, it's most definitely for anybody who fishes warm water for bass or panfish, but I wouldn't say that's all it's for because there are a lot of patterns in here that you can use for trout. I mean, any panfish fisherman knows you can pretty much use any trout fly for panfish. They'll hit about anything. So to wrap it up, this book sold for $20 back in 1992, and that's pretty much what you can still find it for today. Now, I found it on Amazon for $19.95. You can probably find it on eBay for just a little bit cheaper. Now, is it worth $20? I think it is. Now, if the only used copy you can find is $30 or $40, I'd say hold off until you can find one for $20, because it's definitely worth that, but I wouldn't say it's worth a whole lot more than that. So that's it for the review. A pretty good book. Uh, I'm having a good time tying some of the patterns in here. And if you're a warm water fly fisherman, I think you will too. So I did pick up an extra copy of this thing. Let's give one away. So if you're new here, how you do that, just leave a comment and somewhere in that comment mention hashtag frog. Hashtag frog. No spaces. Doesn't matter if it's capital letters or, or lowercase letters. So let's say Monday night, June 14th, 2021. I'll go to the random comment picker and we'll find a comment that uses the hashtag frog and I'll get this copy of the book in the mail to you. So that's it. Just my way to say thanks for supporting the channel and I appreciate all y'all watching. Y'all take care. See you next time.